Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Microsoft Tutorials. Today I'm planning to talk about how we can publish an APA to public portal. First of all, we need to understand what is a public portal and then I will show how we can publish a APA to the public portal. Public portal is a web UI provided by the Microsoft where you can give access to the all the internet users. Whenever you design any API, you will publish into Exchange normally. That can be accessible within your organization level. But imagine you have some of the clients, they are outside of your organization. If you want to give access to them, how they can access that API. You can publish them into the public portal so that they can access your API specification and even they can download your API specification and they can see what are the functionalities supported by their API also. Even they can read the documentation of our API. Previously, we used to have in a Microsoft developer portal that is a, a now it is replaced with a public portal. Now let me go to uh, any point platform over here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Exchange. In Exchange, if you see contract API I have published and if you see this is private over here, the visibility now. And now what I want to do over here, if we go back to the Exchange, you have something called public portal, click on that. Now we can see that there is no API is showing over here. Now when I click on this over here, this URL in another browser, this is my another browser. So over here, you can see I'm not logged. I haven't logged in over here in this browser. Still this public portal is able to uh, display what are the content over here, but currently there is no content. Now, what I want to do is here in this browser, I have logged in already. So what I want to do is I want this contract API to be visible for all of the public, whoever is accessing internet so that they can access our API and uh, understand what this API does. Now, to do that, I need to publish this API in a public portal. So let me open this contract API. What you need to do is click on over here, the share. Over here, you can select public and which version you want to share. That version you need to select and click on save over here. Now, we publish this API in a public portal. Immediately, you can see the visibility change it to the public over here. Now, if I go back over here and refresh it, over here, you can see the contact API over here, but I just logged into the my user ID. But even though if I go to another browser and refresh this page and you can see still, I can see this contract API over here, even I haven't uh, logged in over here. Okay, still I should be able to, uh, you know, look into this, right? Now, if I go back over here and now click on this contract API and I should be able to see the content of this API over here. Okay, so over here, what are the operations is supported? Everything has been shown over here in the document. Not only that, under the home, if you want to add some content about this API, you can add it that also. How we can add it? Go back to the exchange over here. In the exchange contract API, you can do over here, edit over here, and you need to add the description about about this api over so let me add it i'm going to add some description over here and over here if you see this api used used for maintaining contacts for your uh, for your applications the following functionality supported by the contact api create contact get all contact get contact by id update contact delete contact click on ok and even you can put uh, the details also over here and uh, I'm just going to keep it these details and then click on save. So now we can see over here, publish, click on publish. The document is going to be the published. Now, if I go back to my public portal over here, in the public portal, you should be able to see over here automatically those changes. And as I said, the client can download the RAML or, or open API specification 
or as a mule connector as a three connector mule three connector or mule four connector also they can download and they can start implementing this uh, contact hope this is clear right so this is how we can use the public portal this is how we can publish an api to the public portal and the others outside of organization people also can access our apis and the next thing over here i want to explain we can customize this public portal so if you see this look and feel over here this is a black background is there here blue background is there some text is there if you want to change this you can customize over here click on customize and you can add it your own logo and uh, favicon you can add it as well as you can change the background over here maybe if i want to change it the background as this one i can change it as well as text color if you want to change it you can change it as well so all these titles everything so you can change i say that over here netbook public portal okay so this is how i can do this editing and click on edit done yes publish it then automatically those changes will be reflected over here you can see now automatically change and that is how you can edit this background color over here i think uh, i haven't selected i think so let me put it so over here i'm selecting this color that is done then done editing publish the change see that the color also changed so this is how we can customize the public portal also in a mail so i hope this is clear what is a public portal public portal is an a uh, internet web ui for the outside of organization if you want to share your APS, we can use it we can publish the APS and share with the client so that's it for today thank you for watching this video uh, please like share subscribe network for the documentation you can click on the description that's it for today see you in the next video